you all have seen a PayPal button or a PayPal link to make it easy for people to pay you on PayPal. Well, Stripe has something similar uh, in terms of a PayPal button or, or a single link that people can click on to buy your product or service. It's called a Stripe payment link. And the way you get there is you go to your Stripe, you log in, you click, uh, and Mira, we, we're already here, so we don't have to click anything. But what we got, how we got here is we clicked on the, the payments tab at the top left. Mira did that already. And then once we are on the payments, we then clicked on the payment links on the left side and Mira did that already as well. So we're here and now we're gonna create our first Stripe payment link. So click on, well, you'll have more payment links here later, but later when you come back, you'll click on the new button on the top right. But right now the, the middle button works as well. So either one's right. So yeah, go ahead and click on, um, great. And basically uh, you can either, you know, the way Stripe works is they work with products. Um, you have to have already created a product or you can create a product right here. So it sounds like you're creating a new product, right? So click on add a new product. All right, so name the product. The product is basically when people are, are on the payment page, they're gonna see what they're buying, right? And, and the description, yeah, great. And then the description also is what they're gonna see. Um, so. Do you have any recommendations of what to say there in terms yeah, of something um, like this? You know, something concise, because by the time they get here, they should have already been you know sold essentially they're, they should be ready to buy so it, it's just a confirmation that they're in the right place so it's a, maybe like you're going to get you know th you know three videos or like like oh yeah this is what i'm buying so it's sort of like the the features not not so much the benefits because that's already been they, they probably already read that in an email or on the web page but now they're ready to buy just making sure that they know yes exactly something a full recording and you know, whatever it is they're, they're actually paying for. Yeah, great, awesome. Yeah, and then um, the image is optional on the right side. I, uh, given that I, I, I usually create a sales page or, or email where, like I said, by the time they get here to the Stripe payment page, they're already sold. So I don't feel like I need to make it super pretty. But if you happen to have an image that's easy to upload, of course, that, you know, kind of makes the the experience a little bit more, a little bit nicer. Um, and then uh, basically down here, you set the price. Uh, and you know, you're in Australia, so it's AUD. Uh, if, if most of your customers are uh, you know, AUD friendly, then that's what you would do. But um, yeah, so put the price, I would say, where uh, you know, if there is a vast majority of customers at a certain currency, you would use that currency. Um, recurring versus one, so that's really cool that you could do a subscription versus a one-time payment. Most of us are doing one-time. Uh, price description, I don't know what that is. If you ever have a question on stuff, you can always hover over the I exactly. Um, so this is just a help you stay organized. I, I don't know what that means, so I'm just gonna click on add product there. <laughs> so go ahead and click add product, great. All right, so once the product, okay, now you have to just click continue to confirm your password um, for Stripe. And once it's been added, now it automatically has added there on the left for you, the product is there. This cool thing on the left, you can see you can have promotion codes, you can collect their physical address if you need to, usually for digital products, we don't need that. And I would say the less information you require from them, the faster the transaction happens, the, the more likely they're going to actually go through with it, right? Uh, so anyway, you could uh, confirmation page on the left hand side, let's click on that uh, on the left drop down menu confirmation page there. Right, so basically, uh, you can either, um, you know, uh, on the right, okay, so first of all, let, let's see what we're showing here. On the right hand side, you see the preview of what the payment page looks like when they get there. I don't know why Apple Pay is so prominent, but, but I guess, you know, Stripe and Apple have a deal going on, so they like are promoting the Apple Pay thing. Um, I know a lot of us don't use Apple Pay, but, but the credit card there is also very obvious, hopefully, for people. Click on the confirmation page to see what the preview looks like. So this is basically all they're going to see. It's like, thanks for buying, and that's it, uh, with, the, with the product name and the product price and the product description, which you can see on the left side. You could, however, on the left-hand side, click on, um, uh, so, yeah, you could do that, or further down, don't show confirmation page and redirect customers to your website, the, the, second, the second bubble there. And the nice thing about this is that if you do this, you can have a thank you page on your site that tracks you know, using cookies or whatever, you can track co conversions. 
So like if you're using Facebook ads, Instagram ads, or, or even just Google ads or Google analytics, you can track that people bought the product when they land on the thank you page. I do that all day long with my course sales. So that's a very uh, convenient way to, to, to do that, you know, send them to the thank you. So that's, that's about it. Um, for, for ease for now, let's click on show confirmation page, the, that bubble. And uh, let's click on create link on the top right. And voila, there is your link. You can click on copy right there. And that's the link that you would send in your email or, or to, to put on your uh, web page. If you say, well, George, if I want a button instead of a link, well, then you simply get a, get a button image uh, somewhere on the web. You get a buy now button image, and then you put that on your web page and you link that button image to the payment page on you know, this link, basically. So that's how you create a Stripe button, quote unquote, but, or you could just send the link to people and they'll be able to buy. So um, in the future, if you ever want to edit this, you simply come back to Stripe, click payments, click on payments links on the left-hand side. Let's go ahead and do that just to show everybody. And then you can simply click on the three dots on the right-hand side uh, of, of the one you want to edit and click edit. And then you can make any changes you want. So any other questions, Mira? Yeah, I was wondering how, not that we need to go through it now, but if you don't mind just referencing, because I'll probably do it manually for this one, but how you automate in terms of someone making the purchase through a Stripe button and then getting sent the link to yeah. the... Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's a bit more tricky and we'll have to talk about that in a, in a different segment. Yeah. yeah. So, so I'll just track them now and send it to them manually because it only... For, for now, I think that's okay for a smaller part. number of sales. Yeah, but for, yeah, so... Hopefully Excellent. Thank you so much. That was great. Thank you.